All right, so now we're going to move on to the uh, shoe till module. Now this will allow us to do a lot more with directories, such as copying them, deleting ones that have um, files in them, and then moving the files into other directories. So here are the two directories we're going to be working with, A and B. B is empty, and A con uh, contains a text file that is blank, um, which doesn't really matter that is called C. So what we're going to do is take A and put it into B. To do that, we're just going to type shootil dot copy tree and then um, we're going to put where that uh, directory is located at, in our case is on my desktop. And then we're going to select it as desktop slash A and then comma and then pretty much the same thing but um, with um, desktop slash b slash a and that will make b contain a folder called a and you can't stop just at b otherwise it's going to say ah but that already exists what's wrong with you you're stupid now if we open this we have this folder inside with c on the inside as well now we can also um, basically remove that tree which is very easy all we have to do is go back in here and then just type shoe till dot rm tree and then the uh, oops, the directory of that and now the entire tree that contains something is gone. Now what we're going to do is we're going to take the text file and move it into B. So just the text file. It's very simple. This is kind of like copy tree but it doesn't have tree in it. So we just do shoe till dot copy or copy to either one and then c colon slash user slash kurt slash desktop slash a slash c dot text and then we do um, c, sla um, c colon slash user slash kurt slash desktop slash uh, b and now if we minimize that go into b we have just the file instead of the entire directory and now if we wanted to delete that we could actually use the OS module we'll use that we'll just do OS dot remove and then locate it there we go alright so now what we're going to do is we're going to take this folder and put it in there while simultaneously deleting this. That's also pretty easy. What you do is instead of copy tree, you do something just a tad bit different. We're going to be using shoe, oops, wow, shoe till dot move. Then we're going to be putting the location of A in here. And then uh, we're going to take that. Oops, man, didn't put all the arguments. Knew there was something missing. Just knew it. All right, move that up there, and then do comma, and then oh, B. Get rid of that and enter. users curve desk oh man forgot the s in desktop copy paste and desktop okay now enter and now if we minimize this and take a look at our desktop a is gone and b is in here with a and c and of course we could just go in there and remove c if we didn't want it so 
if you wanted to find like a real world use for this, if we were to have like um, a file or a folder like A, and let's say it contained a text file in it, like C, and this had like passwords, so pass um, password user admin something like that and it was like in a public directory because someone had to put that into a text file and let's say you wanted it in B what you could do is just open up your interpreter because you're the system administrator you have power over everything and then you would just with a few lines import shoe till and then do shoe till dot move and then say c slash users kurt desktop and then a and then say now we want this into my directory and then it wouldn't be in a public place and you would have the passwords so that's just a nice little way to use it you could also use a lot of other stuff and another thing that I'm going to talk about before we go is shoe till dot and then copy but it's not just uh, dot copy to move files it's copy mode because you want to be able to change the permissions for it so if you had something that was like restricted such as um, we want the desktop which you can't open if you didn't know if you try it it won't let you open it because it'll say ah oh, permissions denied and we want to give that to um, the text file that contains the passwords and then uh, oops, b slash c dot text oops slash a slash c dot text now this is as restricted as the desktop now however we can open it by ourselves if we try to open it with um put a variable there if we were trying to open it through python slash b slash a slash c dot text we shouldn't be able to open that. That is very strange. Let me check something. Oh, never mind. I'm stupid. My bad. Desktop's permission gets changed as the one it is for you, not the interpreter. But the point is, if you were to set a mode to something um, like 666, which is different than 777 it would move that permission onto the c dot text my example was going to be stupid so i didn't finish that anyways sorry the video is kind of long but hopefully you hopefully the point got across if you guys have any questions leave that in the comments if you like the video like it always helps me out and subscribe for future videos i'll be seeing you guys later